What's up guys, this is James First, and welcome back to more Let's Play Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. Last time, we were in the ice with Bentley, and we have a new move, Multibomb. And today, we're going to be doing... Duty Calls, I would buy a move, but I don't have enough money. I only have 300, and I doubt any move we have is for 300. Now nah, the cheapest is like 400. Oh, well, we do have one, but it's for Carmelita, but we don't have Carmelita yet. Or she's not even back yet. So, we'll just have to make do what we do, and do do our duty. I was trying to make a weird, cool wordplay there, but unfortunately it didn't work. As with always. <laughs> okay. I believe the mission is, like, really close, or at a really far. I know, that's a very good description on where the mission's going to be at. And, oh, I still have the costume on. Nice. That means we get to see a new move. Or not a new move, a new ending sequence. Or whatever. Let's just, oh. Did not mean to do you. I meant, come on, get, get up. Get on the, there we go. This one's pretty simple. Tail Grizz until you can get the code to his fortress. We need to get in there if we're going to stop him. You shouldn't have any trouble finding him since he's tagged with the homing darts. Just follow the signal. We probably didn't even need the darts. He's kind of hard to miss. Okay, he's on the move, Sly. Stay close so I can pull the data we need off his phone. And don't underestimate him. He's no lightweight. In more ways than one. It ain't your biz. My name is the Grizz. You see, I'm hairy and scary and all of that stuff. Get the heck out of my way. Oh, I'm gonna get rough. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Gonna make me a fortune. I'm the greatest around. All I gotta do is plant my art in the ground. <laughs> Gotta be very careful during this part, since even to learn the guard will make us stop the mission or start over the mission. Oh, you trying to run some kind of game on the Grizz? I'm tired of you telling me to walk the line straight when you walking it all crooked. Yeah, that's right. Uh-uh, uh-uh, no, no, no. That ain't the deal we had. Nuh-uh, no. I got you the cane that that big old hairy dude made. Now you need to hook me up. Hook me up, yeah. Ho hold on, hold on, I'm losing signal. Hold on, I said I'm losing signal. I said I... I hold on. I can't... Hold on. You catch that, Bentley? Yeah, sounds like he's talking to La Paradox, and there's trouble. Don't lose him. You got the Grizz? Live at large with a brush. Don't step on my canvas, because you'll just get crushed. Don't need no canvas. I just paint on the walls. Nobody give me static, cause I'm better than y'all. I gotta admit though, his rhymes are pretty good. <laughs> I mean, at least they're good. Now listen up. Rhyme. The eggs are running out here, but I need to keep my paint production going. So I need you to find me the resource. What? Well, I don't know. You know, like uh. Chickens, turkey, ostriches, parrot, frog. How would I know? Just make it happen, man. What? Oh, man, hold on. I, I gotta find some reception. I gotta find some. Hold on. Man. Stop. Oh, hold on. Bentley, why don't we have a phone like that to talk to Dimitri? You really want Dimitri calling you? Good point. Forget I asked. I forgot Dimitri get mentions in this mission. It's funny since he hasn't been mentioned at all since the first uh, episode, more or less, or the prologue, in a sense. 
but I wouldn't mind Dimitri calling us. I mean, I really like him as a character. <laughs> I think it'll be really funny Come if he on, does. <laughs> Come on now. I scratched your stinky stripy little back, now you scratch mine. Not only that, I got those other crazy Cooper folks messing with my business now. So I gotta deal with that, and I don't see you giving me any help. No help. No. You... Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll take care of it. Huh? Oh, oh, hold on. It's, it's the reception, man. I can't hear you. No, you can hear me, I can't hear you. You chop it. You chop it. You chop it. I, forget it, man. I, I, Sounds like your deal with my paradox isn't going so well. Oh, poor guy. I feel so sorry for him. Yeah, I'm crying over here. Just stay close. I'm still trying to access his phone data. Why did I do that? Well, that worked, I guess. <laughs> Just not in the way I thought it'd be. He, you! The paradox, that skunk. I don't care what he thinks. The best thing you can say about that shrimp is that he stinks. Ooh, considering he's a skunk? Eh. I don't know, rappers. Are that, is that a bird? <laughs> it probably is. <laughs> So how does he not notice those three targets? So I'm rolling, I'm flowing, so bad it ain't fair. Your grizzle to the paradox, don't mess with the bear. See? Farting. Okay, we gotta hurry up and catch up to him since he's running quickly. I'm finding this all pretty entertaining. Yeah, off his game. Okay, we gotta hurry now. He's running like hell. Fun fact, when I was practicing for this mission, I died at this part. I know it's crazy, but I somehow died. Or no, I lost him and they failed me the mission. <laughs> What? Where, where is he? Oh, he's up there. Jesus, why is this such a long way? Now let me tell you how it is. I am an artist. I got paintings to create. And I ain't putting up with any more of your excuses. Now, you give me the eggs I need for my paint, or I climb through this phone and squeeze them out of you myself. You got that player. Hello? Hello? Why you did that? Dang! No! Oh, I was so close! I guess that means you didn't get the code? It does. Looks like we're back to square one. I guess the bear got away, huh? Carmelita, it's good to see you. Uh-huh. I'm only talking to you because I have some information for Bentley. I've been tailing Grizz on my own, and I have the security codes and full schematics for his mountain base. Wow. Thanks. You're welcome. So you'll get it to Bentley for me? Of course. I'm headed back to the hideout now. But wouldn't you rather hand it to him yourself? Maybe I should. After all, you're not exactly trustworthy, are you? Ouch. So... We're good, right? Don't push your luck, Ringtail. Oh no, it's just the same. I don't know if it was just the uh, screen playing tricks on me, but I knew Bentley's was different. I knew for some weird reason it was different than his usual one. But, yeah, I was hopeful. At least we got... Oh, we have half of the mask in the game, I just realized that. I caught up with the ringtail to give him the intel I'd gathered on Grizz. Half of me still wanted to slap the smirk off his face, but the other half wanted to talk. Working on my own these past few days had given me time to think, and I'd realized some things. Sly may have been lying to me the whole time in Paris, 
but I'd lied to myself as well. In my heart, I knew something was up, but I didn't want to admit it. I wanted to believe he'd changed, that maybe I'd changed him. But Sly was who he was, and I had to accept that. Although this crazy time-traveling business had given me a new perspective on that, too. In the past, I'd always chased Sly, arriving on the scene after the fact. But now that I'd fought alongside him, with Bentley, Murray, and his ancestors, I had to admit a newfound respect. We aren't really so different. We both fight for justice. We just do it from opposite sides of the law. The question is, can I live with that? Honestly, I don't know. But for now, perhaps it's enough that I see things more clearly, and that we have a common enemy in the paradox. Because I am not going anywhere until I put that stinking weasel behind bars! We got Carmelita back! Yay! We can finally do a mission as her, or not even a mission, just at least get her move, since it's the cheapest. I'm sorry, Carmelita. But that's gonna be it. Next time on Let's Play is Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. If you couldn't tell by the name, we're doing the final mission here. But first, we are gonna do some stuff with Carmelita, mainly show off a new move from her. And I might off screen get some treasures so I can get another move, alright? So. I'll see you guys then.